Now I'm recording for YouTube. Fantastic, cool. But also, hello, Diesel Savage TV. Thanks for swinging by. Um, sorry, I just did this whole spiel. But for the YouTubers, people watching on the YouTube, welcome to the 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 playthrough of Slay the Princess. I uh, uh, flipped a coin earlier, and the coin said that we're gonna try to kill this princess. So let's, I don't know. Slay this princess. It's a visual novel game. How hard can it be to kill somebody in a, a visual novel game, you know? But yeah, alright. Let's get ready to go starting now. <laughs> let's, let's get ready to go starting now. Yeah, there we go. The hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on, let me move everything over. <laughs> okay, there we go. Transition. Boing. Okay. <laughs> Another reason why I picked this game is that uh, there's a. It's a. I, I like games that kind of do all the the caption reading and essentially allow you to. Kind of. Not you don't have to like talk as much. You don't have to read every word on the screen. Um. All right. So. Let's see here. End the world. Have you considered that maybe the only reason that she's going to end the world is because she's locked up. Killing the princess seems kind of bad. Can't someone else do this? I'm not doing it. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get reward? Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. <laughs> Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. Or we can silently continue to the cabin and or turn around and leave. Let's head towards the cabin, but not make any comments or anything <clears throat> you make your way up the short path to the cabin you'll find the princess within if you say so a warning before you go any further she will lie she will cheat and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her don't believe a word she says <laughs> we're not going to okay. go through with this right She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. I mean, who says? He doesn't know what he's talking there about. There we go, yeah. You know, forget that guy. I feel like most people would try to lie, cheat, and all kinds of stuff to avoid being killed. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. I like how the, the blade is like on the edge of the table versus like being in the middle. That's a hazard. The blade is your implement. You'll need it no. if you want to do this right. Here comes my puppy. Hello, big girl. All right, let's take that blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd oh. be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Oh my god. <laughs> my dog is just absolutely losing it. <laughs> but yeah, we should um, probably use this weapon. Well, I mean... <clears throat> pardon me. How hard can it be to stab somebody that's chained up, you know? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Yeah, she probably... Yeah. Her voice carries up the stairs. <laughs> Who's there? Uh oh She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. 
And we're kind of going with the silent protagonist route here, so let's continue that. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's only chained to one, no. Weird. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Bro, you gotta, you gotta keep it in your pants, otherwise we're gonna get we're gonna get killed Focus by the Focus on the task at hand. <clears throat> exactly. I'm glad we got somebody on and her side. There you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Okay, so, so I, I forgot. <laughs> I'll get the YouTube fi or, uh, the the camera placement correct at some point. We'll put me over here. I'll put the chat on the bottom right. <clears throat> so much flim. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Let's. I think we're good now. Uh, yeah. I am supposed to slay you. I don't know if that's the same thing as killing, but. Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? Also, fantastic voice acting by the whole everybody working in the game. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason. I think it's just these two people. Right. And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Talking a lot of shit for somebody who's chained up. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh, well, that was easy. Also, we're some kind of creature, it looks like. I don't know what kind of creature we are, but we got feathers and a... Some kind of hand. Some <laughs> some kind of hand. <clears throat> oh. Uh, oh. This is it, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming, but I have to wonder. Sure are talking a lot for somebody who has a knife in their Do chest. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Kind of hoping, yeah. It's like she's convinced she can't die. <laughs> she, she yes. Just... Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. <laughs> she just fakes it out like, no, I'm not dying. I'm fine. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Is it over? Is it really over? Of course not. That was too easy. It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I really don't think you should do that. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? Yeah. I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Sorry, I'm just looking at my self again. It looks like I'm still... Okay, what if I <laughs> put myself over here? Okay, that should keep me out of most of the dialogue choices on that side of the screen. Keep me away from her dialogue and also be able to read the dialogue at the bottom of the screen. Okay. <laughs> that should, we, should, we should be good now. Okay. <laughs> Let's check for a pulse, just to be safe. You lean down and place your hand against her neck, holding your breath as you search for a pulse, even though you know you're not going to find one. We definitely won't if you keep talking. I'm sorry, do you want her to be alive? 
You just saved the entire world from annihilation. Why are you suddenly trying to call that into question? Wait. Whoa. What was that? You know what that was. That was the sound of a heartbeat. Followed by another. A and another. Great. I guess I won't be dying alone after all. Um, uh-oh. Something sharp digs into your side, the shock of it sending your nerves into a pained frenzy. Well, she's got her knife, so what happened? What, what's going on? Oh, God. Wait, let's get out of here. It's too uh -oh. late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. Ow. As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. Okay, so she is dying, but she was an just An eye dead. for an eye, a life for a life. Or she I was guess just dead. we're even now. Using her last breath to kill us too. See you around. God, I hope not. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? Doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. Whatever that's worth. Yeah, right. <laughs> Everything goes dark, and you die. We did it. Chapter two: the the Razor. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that oh path God. is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I already did it, though. Let's see here. <laughs> what if we just do the silent route the entire time? Just never acknowledge anything. Just keep going in a single cycle. <laughs> a warning before you go any further. Sorry, she will this. lie, she will cheat, and, and she Out will here. do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Okay. It couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. Voice of the cheated. Okay. We got a new voice. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. All right, let's get in there. Maybe second time's the charm. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. She's done a lot of damage. Also, what about the mirror? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. The, the mirror? I guess we'll just approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Let me just adjust the music just a tiny bit. Okay. Wipe the mirror clean. Ah. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous <laughs> you look right now. But the mirror, it was there. There was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. Meh, I don't meh. Alright, let's take the blade. Let's you take the again. blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. I mean, to be fair, we did stab her first, so she just, you know. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. Hmm. Just, just like a wooden tunnel thing. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it. 
like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. Yeah. Scraping? She's not even trying to hide her knife. It's like she wants to get in our head. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. You're also in my head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. Yeah, I think she's put on an act. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes oh. into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. That's a giant hallway. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Why is your voice, like, robotic almost? Oh god. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? No. I'd like to trust you, but you're so suspicious right now. Is there a... Just a... I was trying to find, like, a, the, the silent protagonist thing, but... Let's just be... Very, um... What's the word? Single-minded. <laughs> the princess falls silent, her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. Creepy. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet, and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We just have to strike now, but make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. I don't trust her for a second. But your focus is broken by the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Her meat, right? Whose meat? Not ours, right? <laughs> Hers, at first. Then yours. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. <laughs> How? What, what did she even hit us with? You stare down at your chest and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. Well. And then the red, angry slit along the flesh of her thigh, where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. It's still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. Well, this is like some Kengen Ashura stuff where they just have like <laughs> blades and stuff in their fucking body parts. <laughs> bullshit. Absolute bullshit. <laughs> That's not fair. You're going to die now. Yeah, I mean, the giant blade in the chest will do that. With a twist of her knee and a painful squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 3, The Arms Race. Are we going to get a gun? You're on a path <laughs> in the woods. What's no, a... fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. <laughs> You're... What? The interior of the cabin is sharp. <laughs> a constricting mess of curved That's and so funny. sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? <laughs> Fuck all this bullshit, we're just gonna do it again. Dizzy. Oh, ho, ho, ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. Oh, another voice. We have to fight. It's like we, we have a, a quest to slay this princess. And as we try every time, we get like a new party member, it feels like. Just like, all right, 
Now you got the voice of the hunted with you. Good. It's better. Oh, another guy. Without a fight, no one can win. And if no one can win, then nothing has any meaning. <laughs> it's, it's like a Ted Lasso when he... Great. So obviously you've already... He'd watch Ted Lasso. Here. How many times? I don't want to be one of those people always talking about Ted Lasso. But it's a pretty good show. First season, at least. I haven't seen the next two seasons. All right. Oh, yeah. So the narrator notices that we've been here before, but he hasn't necessarily experienced the same stuff that we have. This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? It's not out of lack of trying. That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. <laughs> nah, impossibly high stakes make the fight so much better. Now that's a, Let's just stay focused, that's a shall we? Man after my heart. <laughs> the only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched. We take it. <laughs> okay, sure. You take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. Also, that giant mirror. That's again. right. We've got to be able to win eventually. Hell, we might even win now. <laughs> That's a fighting spirit I like to see. You could all learn a thing or two from this one. I'd love to the get most, started the most just stable as much one. as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? But there isn't a door. It's just that mirror again. It's just this mirror. It isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. If it's in our way, let's just break it and move on. Yeah. Approach break the mirror. Your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe it. Oh, reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. Oh, we don't even get to wipe it. it. He, when he says, uh, incoming ad break. I don't want any ad breaks. Stop. What? Ads are snoozed for five minutes. What is this shit? Great. Oh, sorry, YouTubers, I didn't mean to cut that off, but apparently, I thought I said that. Okay, sorry, I'll try to fix that between the the stream and then the, the next stream. Silly little Twitch, maybe I should stream on YouTube, actually. No, no. Meh, I'll think about it later. Anyways, if we, oh yeah, sorry. Reach forward, blah, 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 da, da, da. And the mirror's gone. Eh, surprising. It was never there. Just oh. an illusion. She's back. Let's just get to the princess already. I didn't <laughs> care about the mirror before. I just want to kill this lady already. God. Guess it's time for well, us to see her again. More than lady. I, I don't know what she is. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Y yeah. You step forward, oh. but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic. An unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Don't Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi. It looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. Oh my god. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. I guess. I don't. <laughs> She's got another thing coming if she thinks we're going down easy again. Pride makes us dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Yeah, also, apparently she has blades in her body, so I I mean, it, we'll see how easy Actually, it can be. Does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. 
The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Your ah. internal bickering ah. is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. And that happens so suddenly, it freaks me out. Twin blades <laughs> glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. <laughs> the chain clashes. She's, to the she's floor. got, she's got blade arms. Oh my god! She's loose, and she is coming for you. Uh oh. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? P probably. Shit. She's coming for us, and I'm out of ideas. Uh, all of these ideas suck. Think of something better. Oh, sorry. Oh, so now you can't even see the last option. Okay. All right. Hmm. Is there really no? I guess I'll just. Looks like I will cut out the camera for this playthrough here. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, I forgot to say goodbye to everybody before I just left the, the internet space. <laughs> Alright. Um, I have, I'm between, well, let's just fight her again. We, we've been, we've been kind of just going through this route anyways, just kind of con constantly going for her. Uh, we're going to fight her again, and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. I don't know or think that's how that works, but we can try it. It is a video game. I forgot we can save, too. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> this is the best idea yes. anyone has ever had! Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Let's see if we can turn off the part of us that feels things. <laughs> pain is good. It's how we stay alive. Nah, I'm sick of pain. Yeah, this whole thing would be a lot more tolerable if it didn't hurt so much. <laughs> now let's wait for it to come to us. Just standing there, huh? A bold strategy. The princess closes the distance and we dodge. And you dodge. And we fight back. Now we have a fight. And you fight back. Oh, you're fast. But let's see how fast you really are. Uh-oh. We're about to have an anime fight. You and the princess enter a quick and vicious exchange, each of you wounding the other, but neither landing a fatal blow. Yes. Yes, this is exactly it. <laughs> but the dance couldn't last forever. All it takes is a single clumsy moment. She skewers you. No. Gotcha. And... Skewered. Does it hurt? No. Ah, we got a new voice. Oh, a new one of us. <laughs> I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? Your Honor? No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? Uh -oh. I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead, oh, so many new friends. Dead, 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 dead. If we didn't realize we were dead... Then we made progress. Good job. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? Mm, three, four. This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. Well, I did the thing. I stabbed her. I don't know what you, what, what you want me I to do. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. Aw, oh, she's supportive. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. <laughs> we don't need any other voices chattering about in here. It'll just confuse us. All we need is to keep fighting. Yeah, I'll pass on that. As long as we keep moving, why not? It's not like dying again and again is doing us any harm. Let's see how far this little mind hole goes, shall we? My mind hole. Come on, show me something <laughs> new. Come on. Um, let's all these ideas suck. Think of something better. 
It doesn't work and she kills you again and again and again and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. None of this is working. Think. Think. She skewers you. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> then you skewer yourself. What? <laughs> I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. She's got more swords in huh. her sword arm. I didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. What's the point? It's all the same. <laughs> she skewers you. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. <laughs> Compliment Sorry. Her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a capable woman. She skewers you. <laughs> You're cute. Aww. See? We're getting better. She likes us. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. Just panic. Flee. She skewers you. <laughs> she killed you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. She's talking pretty well for having, like, like, like uh, very sharp teeth. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time. That's all we need. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Um. She skewers you. And then everything goes dark, and you die. Uh oh. We died died. Oh. Chapter 4. Mutually Assured Destruction. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin, and we'll take it from here. <laughs> I love the voice of the cheated. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. My claw! Ho ho! What if we throw it out the window? Over my dead body. Well, there's a lot of those. That won't be very hard. You <laughs> died a lot. I can't say I mind anymore. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands <laughs> of a beautiful woman? Sure, I can think of a better way to die. Well, true. They're all the same, really. No, no. <laughs> How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The only thing we're going to manifest is finally ending up on top. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? <laughs> this isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them? Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. So far we are um, one tie, and probably, I don't know how many times we died in that last run there. Probably like, you know, 60 losses or whatever, so... Narrator! We heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only it's more of a slide. We know. Fine, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing <laughs> along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything. <laughs> it feels like I'm hardly a part of this. I want to be included. Don't care. Just want to win. Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces, you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. Yay. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Is it more blades? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very long. Because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, do. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? <laughs> well, yeah. She says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. 
What if he doesn't? What if you just charge her when without him talking? Really? Okay then. We could try that. Here we go. Now. The princess's uh -oh. skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. Ah. Comes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the wall. Oh, she is just a bunch of blades now. Of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Uh, 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 I don't know. I don't think so. I don't want to. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. She's. Gorgeous. Oh, God. Absolutely divine. The sun can't control himself. Yes. Behold the perfect woman. Oh, no. The stubborn one likes her, too. Do you think we can throw her out the window? I don't think you can even grab her. That looked painful. Yeah. How is she still alive? All very good questions. Heart's still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all. Just made up. <laughs> she doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. <laughs> We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. Now, come on. Oh, I can empty my mind. Just happened. It's so quiet. Him, too. <laughs> oh, Something shit. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Oh, my God. She wasn't even using her full... Well, I guess she definitely wasn't using her full power. She was full of skeleton blades this entire time. <laughs> you do not act. And yet, through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but as her blow finishes its arc, you are already somewhere else. You're incredible. Thank you. Your weapons clash again and again, you and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There's only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, and the faster the momentum volleys between you. An endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition, and hers strikes too. Both strikes are lethal, neither of you will survive. But neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending. <laughs> oh. But, uh, hey, wait, hold on, what was all that? Um... You do not get to see each other die. Something has taken her away and has left something else in her place. Approach the mirror. You do so. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach towards the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Well, it's you. Oh, okay. This is, I, <laughs> I guess I should have stayed on that screen for a little bit longer, but you didn't. You couldn't really see a lot more. It looked like he had, like we have wings or something. I think, but. Anyways, you are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. Wherever it's at. <laughs> You are at the cabin. Oh, we made it. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Got a lot of hands now and arms. <laughs> Do I just keep attacking her? Let's try it. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. 
Okay. Okay. I guess we'll just ask her what happens now. Nothing as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. I love the arms dancing in the background. Uh, do, do, do. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Okay. I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Okay. Uh, how much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. So this entity or whatever, I, I guess it's like the... I guess the hands mean that... She's like the ultra princess or something? Like, I'm trying to describe it like layman's terms, but basically... This entity is like the princess across all the universes and worlds or whatever. So even once we fight the princess again, we'll probably have to like, you know, uh, go through different endings and whatnot. But our memories will return once we meet this entity again. Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Oh no, I'm dry and hollow. <laughs> I'm not going back. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Well, that's nice. Okay, wait forever. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you leave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? I don't know, lady. I was just supposed to slay you, and now you're if this you blades demon. Box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. Hand-drawn? Oh, she's breaking like the fourth wall. You'll always come back to the box. Because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Oh. <laughs> Apparently that closes the game. I did not know that would do that. Very interesting. That's kind of cool. I, I, I like when games kind of do that. So the box, I see. So she was literally breaking the fourth wall there. She was referring to my computer, a.k.a. the box. I get it. You have returned to me. Ah. <laughs> Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Oh my god. It just boots right back up. That's, that's really cool. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. You won't. Ah! <laughs> Everything goes dark and you die. 